Retro Rat here coming at you with an unboxing video. Today is October 14th, 2016. Uh, before I get into the unboxing part of the video, I want to go on a small little uh, rant about our lovely uh, GameStop. Uh, number one, uh, my wife was recently uh, banned from GameStop to trade in for the rest of the year. And this happened probably at the end of July. Uh, and the reasoning for banning her for doing trade-ins is because she traded too much stuff into the store in the course of a year. Now, I've been banned from GameStop for excessive trading of the same items in a short period of time. And I actually can understand why you would not want somebody to constantly be able to trade in the same items over week in and week out. Because they can technically go steal it or buy it from somewhere else and then sell it to your company for uh, profits. Uh, so I could definitely understand that, but why would they want to prevent somebody from buy, from trading in constantly different items? I don't understand that one whatsoever. So in the comments down below, let me know your frustrations with GameStop. I know everyone has some. There's actually another frustration with GameStop. Uh, I was had a ton of credit left over. Uh, GameStop recently stopped allowing you to buy gift cards. Uh, with GameStop credit, so now I'm forced to actually shop at GameStop or use or get a uh, iTunes gift card or Google Play or like uh, Microsoft points or things of that nature. So the choices are very limited. So what I do is I'm going to buy games from GameStop's retro site, which I did. I spent a good three hours on the site the other day. I had a lot of credit left over and I picked out 23 total items. Uh, for me, they were running a promotion where you get free shipping over 50 bucks or something stupid, uh, plus your power up rewards discounts and all that other fun stuff. I go to check out, I use my credit or my gift card because I had to purchase a gift card with them, um, and it applied my gift card, and then it said you have an error. So the error happened, and it says uh, try back later or call this number. Some thinking maybe something's out of stock. I don't know what the answer is. But I've actually done something where I purchased something that was out of stock and they just readjusted it based on sales calculated and being paid for in between your transaction and someone else's transaction. So I call the 800 number and it's like 11 o'clock at night and I wait a half an hour on the phone to get somebody on the phone for the person to only tell me that buying more than 10 separate SKUs or 10 separate items that are different titles. Uh, anything over 10, you have to get an authorization from the bulk eBay department. And you have to send them an email, and they have to grant you permission to purchase more than 10 items at a time. Now, this would be um, okay if, you remember I was getting free shipping. It would be okay if I can use that shipping code to apply for all three orders, because I could just do one order for 10 games, one order for 10 games, one order for three games, or whatever it is. Uh, but I couldn't. So then I'd have to pay for shipping for two other orders, and that would have been like an extra 30, 40 bucks, which that's completely asinine. Um, I spent a lot of time shopping, and I was picking out a bunch of stuff that I think would either be cool that I could trade off to people, or be cool in the sense of I can actually make a couple bucks off it, or games that I wanted to play. So then I said, you know what, F it, and bought nine of the same item, which is, counts as one item because it's the same item. And the rest are other games, which, based on the size of this box, is going to be a lot of disc-only stuff. But before we get into that, uh, my first purchase is going to be coming from Respawn Gaming. Uh, they are out of Texas. Uh, this is a Facebook purchase. Uh, he posted this. It was $60 shipped. It's Vinark for the PS1. Uh, if anybody understands or have ever even heard of this game... Uh, this is a Star Fox style game, and actually, I think this is actually better than Star Fox. Uh, I had it in my collection for a short period of time before I was before I had to sell it, uh, and I'm glad to actually have this back into my collection. Uh, next, we're going to jump into the uh, actually no, we're going to jump into the eBay grab. Uh, this eBay grab late one night, I was online and I saw this auction and I immediately bought it. Uh, it was one of the quick listings. Uh, it was a Super Nintendo lot. Uh, as soon as it was listed, buy it now. The price was $125. Buy it now. Free shipping. Uh, I bought it on Monday. No, I bought it on you know, Monday. Monday? Yeah, Monday. And the person already shipped it out. Alright, you have 
A bunch of official controllers. Here's one, two, three controllers, two power supplies, two RF units. A clean Super Nintendo. Another clean Super Nintendo. And two Ziploc bags full of games. Again, this lot was $125 shipped. I thought it was a pretty decent deal. Uh, you have Donkey Kong Country 3. NCAA Basketball with a dust sleeve. Super Mario World. Super Mario All-Stars. Oh, these games are really clean, too. Cool spot. Donkey Kong Country. NHL 95. Toy Story. Wheel of Fortune. NBA Jam Tournament Edition. FIFA 97. Super Mario RPG, which is the gem of the lot. Uh, Turtle, uh, Turtles, Turtles, Tournament Fighter, Donkey Kong Country, NCAA, oh no, this is Play Action Football, sorry, uh, NCAA Final, Final Four, I've actually never seen that basketball game before, Mortal Kombat, and Super Black Bass, so that was a really good lot for $125, uh, next and final, we're going to get to the GameStop package. Uh, now, for those of you who don't know, GameStop sells retro games on their website. They don't sell them in stores. There are huge uh, cons to this. Uh, all the disc-based games, you don't know if you're getting them complete or not. All the cartridge games, you don't know what the label condition is going to be. Uh, looks like everything here is going to be pretty much disc only. So to save time... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine copies of Mario Kart Double Dash. Basically, just grab them uh, just because of the simple fact that I could sell them extremely easily and the website was being a complete pain in the ass. Next is uh, Lunar Star, Lunar Eternal Blue. Let's make sure all the discs are in there. And check the disc condition as well. Uh, these I don't mind getting disc only actually because I'm actually going to be playing them. So getting these disc only is not an issue at all. all right, so it's all three discs over here. Nope, that's going back. Nice swirls if you can't see it. So I don't even need to check the rest of those. That's going back. Uh, Lunar Silver Star. This has the case. Obviously, it's not going to have the manual because the manual is a big, a big book. And this one's going back too. See, this is why buying discs are not good. I'll check the Mario cards when I'm done the video. Don't show you that stupid stuff. Next is Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Again, disc only, I really don't care. It's not the prices on these games. Lunar one was twenty four ninety nine or twenty nine ninety nine. Castlevania was twenty four or nineteen ninety nine. Again. This one's going back too. I mean these are like not even close to good condition. Uh Card only of Iridium 2, if you've never played it, it's a really good shooter. Iridium 1, they're both on the Game Boy Advance, Iridium 1 and Iridium 2. Uh, they, uh, the first one was a very slow-paced shooter. Uh, this one picks it up and it's a little bit more fun. And then this one right here is R-Type 3, uncommon Game Boy Advance game. They were like 15 bucks each, really, really cheap stuff. But again, you don't know what you're going to get when you buy it on GameStop's website. And the last and final one, uh, the original Grandia. Let's see if this one's just as good as the other ones were. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, based on looking at all these, that they're using a resurfacer, and they're not using a high-grade resurfacer. It has to be. It has to be, because every single one is the same condition. Uh, guys, don't forget, 
Put the comments down below. GameStop rants. Thank you for watching.